Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. It's been a long time since I've had some ribs and even longer time since I've had some competition style ribs. That's what we're going to be doing on today's video. And I'm also going to be testing an injection. Is it necessary? You don't want to miss this. You can see, look at this bark. It's crazy. Oh man, this is perfect. It helps to start with a nice sharp knife, okay? Oh my goodness. Look at that. All right, so I've got two racks of spare ribs here and I'm just gonna move one aside so that we can focus on this one right here. Now again, this is a full rack of spare ribs and competition style ribs, you wanna trim them down to St. Louis style. So we need to get rid of this bone up here and some of this meat. Now I am not gonna be throwing this away. In fact, I'm gonna be smoking it along with my ribs on this cook. So to get rid of this bone here, I like to turn my ribs upside down and find the longest bone, which is usually the third or fourth bone here. One, two, three. All right, so this one is longer, the fourth bone is longer. So I'm gonna cut right above that. But before I cut, I wanna make just a small line for a guide and then take a step back and look at it and make sure it's nice and straight. Okay, so that looks pretty straight to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it. Now, again, this is gonna be a competition style rib, not a true competition rib. Um, I really like the competition style ribs. There's things in competition like brisket that you really can't eat a lot of it because it's, it's really rich. But when it comes to ribs, they taste really, really good, okay? So, got a nice square rack here. Now, the next thing is to remove the small bones from both ends, so right here, this last bone, I'm gonna cut on the inside of that bone, okay? Nice and straight. I'm gonna be smoking this as well. And on this side, it's got a little bit of fat and this bone is here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that one off and also cut on the inside of this last bone. Okay, nice and straight. just like that. Okay, so take a look at your ribs, see if you wanna do any more trimming. Got a little bit of fat here that I just wanna trim off. All right, just like that. That looks good to me. So when you're shopping for ribs, especially a competition style rib, you want a rack that's got a lot of this marbling that you see on this rack right here, okay? So that looks really good to me. The only thing left to do is to remove the membrane in the back of it. And I just like to use a paper towel and grab one corner. Just walk it up your first rib here. Just like that. Then grab it and pull it off. Okay, didn't come off in one piece. And that's okay, we'll just take off these little extra pieces right here. And one more piece. All right, I'm also gonna trim the back just a little bit. Okay, that looks really good actually right there. Now I am not gonna be using any binders, but what I am gonna do on this rack right here is I am gonna inject it. So I am gonna be using the LC Barbecue Boss Hog Pork Injection. This is good for pork shoulders, ribs, etc. And I've injected ribs before and I really didn't find that much of a difference on injecting the ribs. And maybe it was just the brand of injection that I was using. I've had some really good luck recently with this LC barbecue. So I've got two cups of water right here, per the instructions, and half a cup of the injection. This is a quarter cup. So there's a quarter. And there's a half. All right, so I'm just gonna shake this up a little bit. All right, so the injection is mixed up. Now I am not gonna be using this entire two cups of injection. So I just got my injector right here. I'm gonna scoop some up. All right, so to inject your ribs, you wanna grab the thickest part, which is this top side right here. And we're gonna inject right in between the bone. See these round spots right here? This is exactly where I wanna go, okay? 
Go as deep as you can. Also on this thinner side, what I like to do is just come in on the top, just like this, and inject it. You can see it getting nice and plump right there, right here as well. See that? That's what you want. So I got two vials of injection in this rack, and that should be enough. So I'm just gonna wipe down this overspray, if you will. All right, so both of these racks are gonna get the exact same rub just to make it an even comparison. So the first rub, again, from LC Barbecue, this is his rawhide rub. It's a good base layer, has some onion, some garlic, some salt, some pepper, just a very light layer. Pat that down, turn it around, and grab the backside. Just like that. And then I'm also gonna use the certified rub from LC Barbecue. I'm gonna do the back first. Then go ahead and do the top side. Kind of a medium heavy, if you will, okay? Got some really good color. And I've had both of these rubs on pork before. And I gotta tell you, I think these ribs are gonna be really, really good. Okay, so that's enough of the rubs. I'm gonna move this aside, wash off my chopping board, and get the other rack trimmed up. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got my second rack trimmed up nice and square. And again, same rubs, the LC Barbecue Rawhide, light coating followed by the certified rub, again from LC Barbecue. Pat down your rubs. Now to get the edges, one thing that I like to do is just pick up your rack and pick up all this excess rub. See that? All right. We're gonna be smoking these in my Yoder Y640 pellet smoker. It's already warming up outside. I'll see you guys there. All right, so my smoker's up to 275 degrees. I'm gonna put these ribs on the top rack. And what you wanna do is put the thickest part of your ribs towards that stack. So just like this. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just bunch them up like this. Make sure they're nice and straight because how you have them and how you position them is how they're going to cook. Okay, so try to straighten them up as much as possible. We'll bunch them in a little bit. There we go. Just like that. So we're going to give these about an hour and a half before I even come and spritz them. So I'm just going to put my rib tips on the bottom. Again, don't toss these pieces away. It's a good little snack. We'll see you guys in one and a half hours. All right, so it's been an hour and a half. Let's take a look at our ribs. And I haven't spritzed or anything, okay? They have really nice color to them. I'm just gonna spritz with plain water. All right, they are looking really good. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap them in foil. This is my non-injected wrap. And I'm gonna put it meat side up in the foil. I'm just gonna bring this up here so you can see me wrap this here. So again, meat side up. Just a little bit of spritz, which is just water, plain old water. And go ahead and wrap them. Real simple wrap, okay. The injected ribs, meat side up. Same thing, meat side up, just a little bit of spritz, clean water. Wrap them nice and tight. Now I am gonna change the position of these ribs. All right, so these are gonna cook in the foil for one hour. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip the little rib tips that I had left over. 
All right, we'll see you guys in one hour. All right, so the ribs have been wrapped for one hour. Now it's time to take them out of the foil. Slide the shelf out a little bit. Now normally in competition ribs, you'll see people put brown sugar and butter and some kind of juice, maybe pineapple juice or whatever, uh, honey. I'm not gonna use any of that. Um, I found that you get similar flavor not using that stuff. And, um, you know, plus it's a lot of sugar as well. So just take the ribs out, lay them back on the rack. So now I'm gonna let the surface dry up for probably five minutes. Then I'm gonna come back and sauce these up. Stay tuned. All right, so it's been five minutes, just enough to let the surface of the ribs dry up a little bit. And that's what it looks like right there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sauce the ribs. I am using Blues Hogs uh, Champion Blend barbecue sauce and I will not be brushing this on. I'm just gonna apply it on the top just like this, on both racks, and just let it drip over the sides. So I do use foil on my deflector plate, so I'm not worried about the sauce making a mess or having to clean it. Whatever doesn't stay stuck on the foil will go into my drain pan, so, all right. Ribs look fantastic, nice and glazed. We're gonna let the sauce set for about 10 minutes. Then I'm gonna pull them off. We'll see you guys inside. All right, so the ribs are ready. And just in case you were wondering, the internal temperature of the racks was 201 degrees before I pulled them off. So they have been resting for 15 minutes. So just a little tip, I do have a foil pan sitting on top of my foil pan where my ribs are sitting. This way I don't have to put foil and disturb the sauce. So just simply lift that pan. And you notice it's nice and clean doesn't even touch the top of the ribs. So one thing right out of the gate is that this rack is a lot thicker, okay? Now, it was a little bit thicker to begin with, but I'm thinking that the injection had something to do with it not really caving down the way this one did. So I'm just gonna get this rack right here and put it on my cutting board. All right, so we're gonna focus on cutting this rack first. A lot of competition cooks will put some sauce on their cutting board and just spread it out. And the reason they do this is because you don't want to disturb the sauce that's sitting on top of the ribs. Now, obviously, when you turn it over, some of the sauce will get pressed, but not as much if you don't lay any sauce. All right, so I flipped our ribs. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead and sauce the bottom of them. And right here, I will brush this on. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and take a couple of ribs off of this rack here. And what you wanna do is try to follow that bone line right here and try to stay right in between the bone and the meat. Just like that. These are slicing really nice. Look at that. Now you can grab some of this sauce right here and just brush the top of your rib. These are looking really nice. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna move these aside and grab the other rack. All right, so here's our second rack. Again, I'm just gonna flip this over on the sauce and go ahead and brush some sauce on the back of this one. All right, let's cut some ribs. Oh yeah, these are some meaty ribs right here. These are definitely competition worthy. Look at that. Boy, that surface is really juicy. I gotta tell you, this rib is really juicy compared to the other ones. And again, this was the injected ribs. So I'm just gonna sauce these up a little bit. Look at this. That is a good looking competition style rib. All right, let's give them a taste. All right, let's give our ribs a try and see how we did. First, I'm gonna try the non-injected ribs. Here we go. Looks like a good rib.
Mm. Wow. There is nothing wrong with this rib. That is a really good rib right off the bone. Mm. Now let's try the injected ribs and see how we did. Just gonna grab this one right here. Mm. Definitely juicier. And a little bit more tender. And it's got some really good flavor as well. And again, right off that bone. All right, so both of these ribs are fantastic. The non-injected rib has a really good flavor, but the injected rib has a more bold flavor, really savory. I'm gonna give this injection a thumbs up. Again, I've used injections before for ribs, but they've never really made that much of a difference for me. But again, this injection from LC Barbecue, this Boss Hog, is very savory, really bold flavor, something I really, really like. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box on where you can get the LC Barbecue rubs and the injections as well. Check them out, get yourself a discount. I'm also gonna leave a link in the description box to the items that I use in this video, from this cutting board to the knives that I use, to the sprayer, the rubs again. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button. Ask me any questions down below. Until next time, Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.